up is Drew Barrymore. Despite having Steven Spielberg for a godfather, she's just like the rest of us. Drew posted a TikTok video showing the world a glimpse into her humble abode, and fans, they're just eating it up because it just appears like she lives in a normal home or apartment. So what do you make of this reaction, the fans' absolute reaction that how can this be? I just, I mean, doesn't this make you love her more? Yeah. It's just, just like, I'm not surprised that people react. I mean, I don't know. For me, it did make me have that reaction, and here's why. I mean, this is a woman who is extraordinarily busy. She ha runs an amazingly successful show. She has her own magazine. She's a mom, and I think, what I'm so tired of online is like the ubiquity of imagery. So what I feel like I see from every influencer or famous person who has a certain level of wealth, their homes all look the exact same. They're all smart, yeah. they're all Marie Kondoing, they're all the same cool tone. It looks tone. like no one lives in it them. It looks like no one lives in them, no one has any fun in them, it's just all sterile. And so this is a person who like is actually carving out something that's unique. She doesn't care, or seemingly, about the same kinds of tropes that we're seeing over and over over again. To me, that makes her more interesting. To me, that makes her more relatable. And also, we need, please, like, let's see more of this online, that not everyone has to fit into one tiny style box on their body or in their home. It's, it's so funny to say that because, like, I, I think HGTV has done a number on oh, all of us. Yeah. Because now, whether you're famous, there's a, definitely an expectation that you're going to have this beautiful, fantastic home and everything's well kept. But now the expectation is on all of us yeah. to have the perfect home. And I live with a contractor. That's my husband, and this is what he does for a living. And yet, my house is upside down because we are constantly in a state of construction. I want my home to be spotless. I you do want, want all the things. <laughs> I never get it yeah. because my house is always upside down and so I know what you're saying but I think there's an expectation we have of famous people which is she's worth 125 million dollars so you're just like can't you just call just, somebody to just clean get an and area whatever? rug on the floor so just, just think, yeah, I do think it's a, it is while refreshing I still am yeah. quite surprised yeah you know what I, I hear what you're saying very valid points but as a person who loves architectural digest you guys watch I love watching those celebrity homes and they're not all the same RuPaul's house oh is very different God, than yeah. Venus, uh, Venus and Serena's house I love watching it and when I saw this, my first instinct was to kind of go, are they not paying her enough? What's happening here? Because where's all the stuff? But then I remember, this is a woman who's been very open about her childhood. She did not really even have one. Her and her mother have a very troubling past. And I'm thinking, she is a mother of two kids. She's a nine-year-old and 11-year-old. And I bet you she has her house this way because this is what she wanted when she was growing up. Normal. Just a nice, normal home. Yeah. And I was like, I get it. I see you now. I still would like to throw an area rug or just a little something I in the corner, quickly, but I get it now. But I having it. that very relatable space is a perfect space to sort of showcase all of the home decor that she is selling for very reasonable prices. But if prices. that's what she's selling, are you know we buying? I mean? yeah. But I think a lot of people would buy. They're like, oh, I can envision that rug, that table, that this yeah. in my home because it's just like me. Uh, hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.